Good morning. Uh, been away for a while. Um, not active as such. But I'm back. Uh, this is um, slightly unusual troll through my music collection. This is my programs. Um, don't always buy a program, but if I look at it, I will. And if I think it's an important event. So I've got a few. Bear with me. There's some um, probably uh, tasteless uh, programs here as well. So we'll kick off. First one I got is um, The Boss. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, 2013 tour, Wrecking Ball. This was in Cardiff, uh, as was still there, and I think the Millennium Stadium. It's now called the Principality Stadium. Uh, you can see the boss um, in full flow on the front there. Another Bruce Springsteen one now. This is from the Magic Tour. This is uh, 2008. Yeah, again in Cardiff. That uh, definitely was the Millennium Stadium then. Uh, nice, nice cover on that one, I think. Uh, going back in time a bit now uh, to the Rolling Stones. This is again, it's uh, Cardiff. It was called the Cardiff Arms Park there in South Wales, for those who don't know. Um, a major rugby venue. Uh, this is the Urban Jungle Tour. This is uh, 1990. Um, if I look away occasionally, it's because I'm checking the dates on a bit of paper I've prepared for once. Uh, this is The Who. Uh, this is uh, 2006. In Bristol, Ashton Gate, the football stadium. Um, there, yeah, it's just quite a nice cover. Um, now we're going, uh, going to, yes, again, this is in Cardiff. It's a place called the Motor Point Arena, uh, arena venue in Cardiff. This is from 1998. Uh, this is with the Russian guy on keyboards, so I never remember his name. Um, this is a festival, uh, one of the few I've been to. Um, over the years, 1990, Monsters of Rock, White Stick Topping, there's uh, Aerosmith, Poison, Choir Boys, Thunder, uh, let's see, 1990, Donathan Pack. good, good stuff, good memories, um, Mr. Bowie, the glass, infamous glass spider tour, this again is Cardiff Arms Park, as it was then, now the Principality Stadium, major rugby venue in uh, Europe, South Wales, uh, this is uh, 1987. Uh, I'm not sure of the date of this. This is Elvis Costello at a place called St. Louis Hall in Cardiff. This is a spike tour. Uh, I can't quite remember where. I remember being there, but I can't remember what year it was. And I'm going on my list, so I've left that one off. This is U2, the Joshua Tree tour. This is 1987 again, same year as uh, the Bowie one. For the striking uh, photo, this is a this is a lovely program actually for photographs and stuff. Uh, this is, is an interesting one. This is uh, Elton John and Eric Clapton and various other people. Curtis Steigers, I remember, and then, uh, I remember Brian May coming on to do the encore, which was the show must go on. Uh, so we had Eric Clapton, Brian May, and then Eric Elton John's band, and it's like a fantastic version of the show must go on. That was the encore. Uh, one of the best artists I've seen live, to be honest. He really, first, first, first four songs were like, wow, like me. Um, so that was, there would be. That was 1992 at Wembley Stadium in London. This is Sting. This is 10 Summoner's Tales Tour. This is 94. This was in Cardiff at the Motorfight Arena again. Moody shot the shot there, from, as you would expect from, from uh, Mr. Sumner. So this is an interesting one as well. This is this is a, a local venue in the Newport Centre, which doesn't hold so many concerts now, but was in the eighties was well up there with the, having the top acts. This is nineteen eighty nine. This is the Green World Tour. This is REM just before they got mega big, um, and uh, the place was three quarters full. Couldn't believe it. Like um, uh, it was a fantastic performance. Great gig. This is uh, Peter Gabriel. This is 1993. This is from Hills Court, uh, London. This is the S tour, I think. The one with the telephone box and all that for the people in the know. Uh, very theatrical, brilliant concert. Uh, so I say Hills Court, London. Uh, bear with me, I turn away a bit of paper on my crib notes. Um, got the mission now, uh, a goth band. Uh, this is the Newport Center, that local venue I was talking about. This is uh, 1988, I do believe. Yeah, 1988. Uh, it's got a poster and everything in it. This one is a uh, tidy one. Uh, so that's the mission. Uh, 
uh, I think called the Mission UK in America, if anyone's watching from our, uh, our friends in America. This is Joan Arbor Trade, and this is 1986, as you can see, World Tour. This is uh, uh, Sleight of Hand Tour. Uh, this, uh, this was called, uh, the one thing I remember, this is Newport Centre again, look right now. This is uh, one thing I remember there. Uh, Joan actually forgot the words of Love Affection out before, so they had to play it again, which was not bad, and that's happened to me twice, and I'll come to that again in a minute. But that, that's, um, that's, that was a tidy concert. Well, I've been lucky, I think, for the concert. Stevie Wonder. This is 1989 at the NEC in Birmingham, in the Midlands of England. As you can just about see his name in black there. Uh, memory of that is actually um, the security guys trying to get Stevie Wonder off the top of his piano when he was standing in the middle of it because he got so involved as he does. You might have seen him. 1985, this is Lindisfarne's Christmas show. Um, so that this, the interesting thing about this program, it's actually a calendar, which I don't think I've seen. Uh, well, it probably is another one in here, but uh, anyone else? Uh, no, we're going through a, a slightly offbeat area now, but it was fa two fantastic concerts coming up. I'm so glad I went to see them at the time now. And it was obvious from some of their stage thing that they wouldn't get, well, they never got on apparently, did they? So, um, and that was um, quite odd to see. Uh, so that's everybody. This is 1987 again. This is that local venue at um, Newport. Uh, the score that was Ralph McTell, which was uh, good. Uh, the legend that is Johnny Cash. This is 1986. This is again at the Newport Centre. Uh, there were some real um, woof, dodgy support acts. Uh, yeah, from what I remember. Yeah. Uh, the best bit was it uh, the, um, was his wife was on the bill as well. So they got to sing some of the duets and stuff. That was brilliant. Uh, now we're going into uh, one of my favorite bands, The Who. This is the old court performance of The Who's Quadrophenia. As you can see, um, uh, John Anthos was this, and uh, there's some uh, Billy Idol, I think, was singing, singing parts and stuff. Uh, PJ Proby had replaced Gary Glitter by this time, for those who know about these things. Um, that was it, Old Court London, okay. one of my favorite venues. Sadly, not doing concerts, I don't even know what to say. This is. Um, God himself, Elton John. Elton John, correct yourself, Ken. This is Eric Clapton. Uh, you might be a God, Elton John, but this is, this was Clapton is God. This is the Journeyman pro, uh, program from 1990. This was the NEC Birmingham. And uh, it's a very moody uh, chop there. Uh, uh, one concert they haven't got a program for was uh, Elton, uh, Elton John. Eric Clapton concert at the NEC, which was a, a fundraiser for. Uh, a drugs charity. You now it's Easy Top and Nine Below Zero uh, on there, and it was uh, and Joe Cocker. Um, and the best sound I've ever heard at a concert was Easy Top that day. Um, I said there'd be a few dodgy ones. This is Tennant Saint Derby, who was big at the time. This is 1987. This is the Newport Centre. Um, as it says, the most successful international debut album of 1987. Uh, can you argue with that? This is uh, a massive program. This is U2, the Zuropa Tour. So this is 1993. And again, it's a Cadizan Park, as it was there, the rugby venue. Um, so it's uh, typically uh, a fantastic concert. All those TV screens, for those who can remember. Um, now we're going into a bit uh, heavier country. This is I Am Made in the World Slavery Tour. Uh, this is Bristol, 1981, I believe. No, no, it won't be 81. What do I want about? 80, 84. 84. The next one's 81. I'm getting my years mixed up here, so apologies. I'm getting on a bit. Uh, so that's that's uh, the World Slavery, the famous World Slavery tour. Uh, this is the one I was getting ahead of myself with. It's the Killers 1981 tour. Um, Bristol again. Um, so that's Iron Maiden. Uh, the Man Himself, Meatloaf. Uh, this is uh, 1988. This uh, is the Newport Central local venue. This is the uh, Lost Boys and Golden Girls World Tour. The money making tour, I think that's what we called it. Uh, it was out of um, out of label at the time, I think. Uh, we've come to the last few now. Apologies if this is going on and on and on. This is Marillion. Uh, this is the first tour with uh, H in it. This is 1989. This is a season's end tour, which was fabulous. They had a lot of... Um, very good concert. 
until 1989, Newport, Newport Centre again. Um, this is Newport Centre again. This is Jeffrey Tal, 1990. Um, and then, as I said, that's the Newport Centre. So, uh, Phil Collins, a serious tour. Uh, this is 1990. Uh, he had a big um, carousel in the middle of the, the thing, which opened up and quite a um, theatrical tour again. Some good drumming, of course. Was to be expected. Uh, coming to the last two now, my favourite band. Uh, this is Pink Floyd. This is, um, this is the Division Bell Tour, Pulse Tour, if you want to call it that. Uh, this was 1994 at Earl's Court. The night after the, one of the nights after, it was close to the, when the, the seating collapsed. So it was quite early on in the run. And of course, their last uh, concert tour. Uh, and finally, another uh, Pink Floyd from the previous tour. Uh, this is Docklands Arena, London, and this is 1989, five years previously, with a, with a Delic Sound of Thunder cover sort of thing with a, yeah. So that's that's my programs. Uh, I've been to lots of other concerts, but I don't always buy a program. And they don't always have programs, do they? So there you go. I hope you slightly enjoyed that. And, um, and uh, so that's me for now. I'll speak to you soon.